So this is a very useful tool if used correctly. Now when I was doing research before purchasing this product, it seemed like some people were having issues with connectivity of this item, but I think that's because one option they selected incorrectly during setup, but we'll get to that in a second. For some reason I expected this tool to be more bulky, and I was pleasantly surprised with how small and easy to maneuver this was. It comes with two spoon attachments, a charger, and the main tool itself. I fully charged this before setting it up. It has a red light that turns on when charging and just turns off when it's done. Once it was done, I went about connecting it to my phone. I have an Android, so I downloaded the app from the Play Store without using the QR code. Once the app was installed, I powered on the tool and turned on the Wi-Fi on my phone and connected it to the B-Bird Wi-Fi. Now this is the important part. Your phone will probably let you know that there's no internet available on this connection and ask you if you're sure you want to connect. And here you're going to want to select the Always Connect option. I did this and I've never had any issues reconnecting to the B-Bird tool. The camera quality is actually very nice. I was a little concerned about the frame rate, but you can see everything you need pretty clearly. The light is not adjustable, but it's set at the perfect brightness so you can see everything without it being washed out. I think it's important to take it slow when learning to use this item. It did take a little bit of getting used to as far as maneuvering it in the ear while looking through the camera. But it's really good at getting at those stubborn places where you might have pushed earwax with a q-tip. Also pro tip, there's a setting in the lower left side to switch between the left and right ears. That really helps and I'm not going to mention how long it took me to notice it. I also like that the spoons screw on versus being clamped on as I saw with other earwax removal tools. Overall I didn't have any issues with this and I think it gets the job done, perhaps better than some of the more expensive ones.